Okay. Thank goodness. Here we go. Dr. Megan yeah. Woods. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and it's my pleasure to take a call on the first reading of the climate change divestment from fossil fuels bill and signal that Labor will be supporting this bill to select Kabinti. Yeah. That there are important questions that we need to ask. Let's stop and rationally consider what we're talking about here. Under, unlike the, um, what I have to say is one of the most disturbing. Um, contributions in this House that I have heard. That is um, from the Chair of the Finance and Expenditure Select Committee, a man who is charged with leading the committee of this Parliament that examines the economic questions of this House. That would have to go down as one of the most economically illiterate speeches that I have heard. What I put back to government members of this House is that their government has signed signed up to a 50% emissions reduction target by 2050. If not this is a plan for part of our way to reduce emissions, then what? What is the plan? And this is why Labor is supporting this piece of legislation, that we have very clear policy that we have to take climate change seriously. We have said that we are committed to a low carbon economy and that we've got to have the requisite planning in place for us to get there. We think that this bill offers a really interesting way for us to examine whether or not this is the way for us to do it. For us, of course, there will be questions that we'll ask at the select committee process, as we do with any piece of legislation, like the diligent, hard-working members of the committees that we are. We will ask, is this the way for us as Labor members to achieve a just transition? We will ask the questions around whether this is the right piece of legislation that would help us achieve what we want to see and a goal we, that we share with the Greens. And I would have liked to have seen that it's a goal that we can share around this parliament and it not be caught up in the petty party politics that we've just heard from the previous government speaker. That we need to reduce our emissions. We have to take climate change seriously. At the moment, our planet is on target for a three to four degree rise in temperature unless we as a global community do something about this. We have, we're seeing climate change denial smirks all around the house, I can see that. But we, we need to do something. We are going to Paris in only a month when we as a country will have to show what part we are going to take in the world's efforts to address this. New Zealand recently won a seat on the Security Council by saying we were going to take a leadership role in the Pacific. Well, Mr Speaker, there is no greater leadership role than on the issue of climate change that New Zealand needs to take for its Pacific neighbours, that this is a real and present issue for our region, for our country and for our neighbours. And if we idly sit here and refuse to do anything, such as the previous government speaker was indicating, we will end up exactly where this government is. And that is with no plan. They set targets, they fail to meet them. There is no planning, no budgeting. There is no plan of how it is that we are going to cut emissions. And Mr Speaker, I am fearful about the costs we are leaving to future generations. I want a government member to explain to me, then if not this, how is it that we are going to meet the 50% reduction by 2050 that their government has signed up to? Where are the costs going to fall and how are we going to manage that over the next 50 year period unless we start taking action now? Because that from the government speaker seems to be the only solution that we got. There was absolutely no alternative. It was just no, no and no to this. But how is it that it is going to be achieved? There are good questions that need to be asked about this, Mr Speaker, and Labor is happy to examine this at Select Committee and take part in what I hope will be a very constructive conversation around how it is we can be planning for our future. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Yeah, yeah. I call David Seymour. I 